Tonight, a family's heartbreak, their newborn baby on life support with serious head injuries. How did it happen? Federal police raid Channel 7 over a paid interview with Chappelle Corby. Why we're likely to head back to the polls to vote for new senators. Also, how to get your baby to sleep. Tips from Perth's Baby Whisperer. And in sport, we're live at the Eagles Dockers pre-season derby. Phenomenal stuff. This is Nine News Perth with Tim McMillan. Good evening. A baby boy on life support at PMH with serious head injuries has been put into state care. It means the Department for Child Protection will now make the agonising decision on whether to turn off the equipment that's keeping him alive. It comes as the baby's stricken mother shared her grief online. And tonight the baby remains on life support at PMH. Matt Tinney, Terry Murphy from the Department for Child Protection now has an incredibly difficult decision to make. That's right, Tim. The Director General of the Department for Child Protection says he'll take advice from doctors and consult the infant's family before deciding whether to switch off life support. He's told me in this case of such profound injury, this will not be a prolonged process. Tonight, the baby boy remains in a critical condition. Tim. Right, Matt, thank you. A new twist in the Chappelle Corby saga with federal police raiding the offices of Channel 7. They're investigating alleged payments by the network for an interview with the convicted drug smuggler. West Australians are set to head back to the polls for a fresh Senate election. Last time, more than 1,300 votes were lost. Now a High Court justice says the entire poll should be declared void. To Sochi now, and Aussie Alex Chumpy Pullen was hailed as one of our best hopes at gold. Nine's Damien Wright is in Sochi. Damien, how's he gone? Yes, Tim, as you said, on this cold, murky day, it's very wet and very foggy. And all the talk had been, of course, about uh, this reigning world champion, Alex Chumpy Pullen. Coming up next on Nine News. What AFL player Marley Williams says happened before he broke a man's jaw. Craig Thompson convicted of using union money to pay for prostitutes. And proud parents received the Victoria Cross on their hero son's behalf. Kevin Wild, Nine News. To the CMC markets now, and today's announcement from Alcoa didn't alter, alter the company's share price, which remained unchanged today. Overall, the Australian market closed slightly higher. Our dollars buying 54 British pence, 90 US cents, and 10,646 Indonesian rupiah. Ahead on tonight's news, there's help to pay your power bill. What you need to know. And how to get your baby to sleep. Simple tips from Perth's Baby Whisperer. But time to go back to Michael Thompson at Arena Joondalup. Tomo, testing conditions up there. Certainly were, Tim. It was hot, but gee, we saw some impressive football from the Eagles and the Dockers. All the highlights are coming up after the break as we finally get a chance to see the new look Eagles. Australia's first ever medal in aerial skiing. And Alex Doolan, the batsman who catches the eye. Time for a look now at where to find the cheapest fuel tomorrow. In our north, Duncraig, North Perth and Warwick will have unleaded for $1.42.1 cents. Heading south, the best price unleaded is $1.42.8 in Maddington and Southlake. Looking east, it's cheapest at Caltex Midvale. You'll pay slightly more in Glen Forest, Mundaring and Sawyers Valley. Diesel will cost you less in Nirabup, Carrigullen, Armadale and Kewdale. And the cheapest LPG tomorrow you'll find at BP Adderdale for 93.4 cents. Sally's back now with the weather and Sal, any change in sight? It's certainly not cooling down anytime soon. Tim, I've got those details after the break. Hello there, the city got to a top of 35 degrees at about 3 o'clock this afternoon but it's currently 28 degrees in Bickley and 32 degrees in Champion Lakes, an overnight low of 18 degrees. Now we've got a stable and strong blocking high pressure system across the Indian Ocean at the moment. It's called blocking because it literally blocks cold fronts from affecting our southwest. We've also got hot northeasterly winds keeping those temperatures up for the next couple of days but this trough line here will weaken on Friday. It'll steadily track inland and that'll allow for a 
slightly cool change, but then it'll start to heat up again over the weekend too. And this monsoonal trough right across our north will hold the fort as far as storms are concerned. Wet and stormy in most of the capitals tomorrow. We've got showers turning to rain in Brisbane and we could see 25 to 50 millimetres right across inland parts of Queensland just tomorrow alone. A very wet week ahead in fact. There's a chance of a storm in Canberra, also Sydney too. A couple of light showers around Adelaide Way, also in Melbourne, 23 degrees there. A storm for Darwin and a sunny one for Alice Springs, a top of 32 degrees. A couple of showers and storms around Kununurra Way. We're looking at 36 degrees there. Port Hedland, a hot 41. Scorching in Coral Bay, 43. And these hot northeasterlies are causing uh, severe fire dangers across the Gascoyne coast, and that will remain in place for tomorrow as well. And in the southwest, apart from some light showers across the far southeast coast, we're looking at warm, dry weather right across the southwest land division. So sunny for Bunbury, a top of 33 degrees, and Esperance going for a partly cloudy 24. Augusta, 26 degrees. Some light easterlies there with an early afternoon sea breeze for you. And the surf looks to stay near flat pretty much for the rest of the week. Maybe something for the longboard, but that's about it. Now tomorrow we're looking at a hot 37 degrees in the city, a cool 34 in Swanbourne. And temperatures will stay in the mid-30s for the rest of the week. So Thursday, 36 degrees, a bit of a cool change, but I mentioned it will be fleeting on Friday, so 33. A windy weekend on Saturday, so a close eye on those fire weather warnings, 34 degrees, 35 for Sunday and it looks like we're looking at 33 degrees for Monday and Tuesday so a fairly warm week Tim. Alright thank you very much Sal and that is 9 News for this Tuesday. See you tomorrow.